Hello everyone, welcome to the Social Club, back where it belongs in the north this week, as you would expect, because unless you've noticed, it, it, you know, it alternates, so it was always coming back, but it's a thing. Anyway, right, Dean's here from 4-4 Tunes, Stehausen's here from the Stehausen channel, and everything really these days. I'm everywhere, mate, yeah. you, you've got, got a big got enough head. Fingers in, fingers in many pies. Um, and Ped is here, and Ped, I am so sorry, I have apologised to you before we're doing this, I'm going to apologise to you again now that we're on air. Um, we have to talk about Everton. Do we have to? We do. <laughs> it's 35 days I've got since a channel Donald for Koeman that. was sacked. Can we talk about the punish yet? There's no very, very good on Marco Silva. No, he's Marco Silva. 4-1 Southampton at the weekend. And I've been watching Peaky Blinders, yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to play the clip now because it feels like Everton have, have hit rock bottom. Good as well. Thank you for calling us tonight, uh, Ben. What do you got to say? Hi, Mark. Hi, Ray. Hi, uh, I'd just like to say I agree with the previous caller. I'm falling off about Bill Cantlice. I've watched Everton now uh, since 1963. I have never in all my time seen Everton. I always try and have a little bit of positivity. Mm-hmm. After watching today's game, I actually cried. Because the last time I cried is when Alan Paul left. And I can't believe that Bill Cantlice, as an Evertonian, can stand in that stand. And let this happen. Was that you? It wasn't. Well, I've not been watching since 1963. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it. It does feel like you. it. That's just this season. Um, look, we, we, we kind of all try to suppress a, a smirk there because it is, look, it is, it is funny objectively. Um, but look, I would love, Ped, look, yeah. I would love to get loads more enjoyment out of this because, look, I don't care whether you guys are successful or not and there is defo a certain glee to be found and you struggling but that takes the piss when Everton are that bad that they're making 60 odd year old fellas cry on the radio surely that's is that rock bottom that is can't that... have been the only thing happened in his day surely you big Alan Ball fan yeah. that's all I can surmise big Alan <laughs> but where'd you, where'd you go for me it's like I say 35 days <laughs> since the manager was sacked and there's been no coherent plan There is no the looks. Well, it, if rumours are to be believed, Sam Allardyce may be taking over in the next 24 hours. Well, we're going to come, we'll come to that in a minute because we were asked a question on that. But, it, I mean, just again, from the, from, the, from the guys here as well, I mean, Dean, it's, it's a mental, mental situation. You know, I'm not, look, West Ham have taken action. Now, I'm not saying David, I think David Moyes, I, 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 I fear David Moyes is not the answer for West Ham. But it was decisive action. They, they sacked the manager. They got a replacement in, and now he's playing football matches. Palace was mad, mad but again, Hodgson's yeah, doing something. Yeah, but what's the plan with Everton? I remember hearing a lot of Everton fans saying at the time that give Uns with a chance, forget this, forget that. Give Uns with a chance. He's sitting there waiting. Was this part of a plan to hold off, give him a month if results picked up, give him it till the end of the season? So, and now it looks like Uns with not feasible because mm. of the results. Is that? Now, why it's there's been this long since there's been an appointment? That's what I kind of look at it as. But it sh- I mean, it looks an unholy mess. Yeah, it should have been in the international window, yeah. which was straight after. Which I think was the plan. Actually, it was like what two or three games, get to the international window, then get it done. Then and they didn't, and they've they've just made a complete mess of it. And the problem is, is that this this there's, there's uh, two big forces at the top of the club, Mashiri and Bill Cambright, and one probably wants one kind of manager, and probably one wants another, and. The mad thing is, if it is Allardyce, let's just say, they could have had him a month ago. Yeah. Mm. They've wasted a month. Yeah. And I honestly believe right now, as I sit here, that Everton are going down. Because I don't see anyone worse than us. We are terrible. Like, really, really terrible. And I don't see, unless... It's true with City, though. <laughs> we're, we're the only <laughs> team the only to take points, points, points off City. City. Oh, and we actually played quite well that night. And we should have won the game. Yeah. Um, but it's just all ra- unravelled. It's been like a perfect storm. We we didn't buy the correct players. We've got but right, we've got right You signed Wayne Rooney. No, but that's fine. The players we didn't sign right, this is this is this is a this is a, an example of Everton in the summer, right? We Leighton Baines got injured yesterday. We've got no left back cover. We've got three left backs out on loan, and we've got a left back playing for our under twenty threes who's not registered to play in the first team. How's that happen? There you go. How How is the the I thought they were automatically. Because he's registered. not because he's because he's 24. He's ah, right. So he's not. They didn't register him in the 25 man squad, and we've got three left backs on loan. What? What? That's that's the kind of forward what? thinking. You've got loads of number attacking t- mid- yeah. number tens yeah. and defensive midfielders. 
We actually haven't got that many defensive midfielders. You've got Garner Gay. One. You've got Morgan Schneiderlin. It's not a real person. And you've got Tom Davies. <laughs> Tom, Tom's not really a, a defensive I mean. midfield. He's stop, not really. Stop splitting heads. No, I'm not, because you know he's not a defensive really. midfielder. Okay, he's not, fine. he's not, he's yeah. not, he's not. He's a centre Do you think there's anything in what Dean said about Unsworth being sort of like, maybe they thought that was an option to go forward? No, I think they generally thought it was going to be two weeks. Do you think? I think, well, honestly. Unsworth was maybe a. Uh, no, I think, I think they them. generally thought two weeks. I, and, and. It just Dean Allardyce came out the time, didn't he, and said yeah. they've they're been dragging the heels and whatever. Exactly. So. If they wanted silver, why didn't they just go and get him? Like the, we played Watford, why didn't they just go grab someone, grab him at Goodison and go listen? <laughs> you fancy this? I mean, I'm not sure that's exactly how <laughs> legally speaking it works. No, that's exactly how it goes. Down. All right, cool. Yeah, sorry. Course, that's 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 as long as that's what it yeah, is. Mate. Okay, fine. Why, <laughs> why mess about? I, 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 no grab it. There's a guy shouts from a, a transit van. Hey, <laughs> grab <laughs> Fancy a game? Grab him. Grab the owner. Get them in a room. Drops his Watford coat to the floor <laughs> and just walks. Yeah. Just say, like, fancy this? No, yeah. but that's when it should have been done. Um, it's just a piss take. Well, two points ahead of West Ham as well. Mm. West Ham to come on Wednesday. Wednesday. You know, you could be in the relegation zone by the weekend. I expect us to be in the relegation zone. We, we, we're just, we're, no, look, I'm, not, no, we're I'm not looking. I'm not looking to, to, we're to stick no, the knife no. in. Like, I just I don't need to stick the knife I in. I think actually the starting eleven's really, really solid. The problem is that they've lost Lukaku that goal scorer just doesn't exist in the club anymore. it's not it, that is huge and that it's not his it is his goals he's lost but the most important thing is no one fears us yeah. so when they play against us everyone plays 10 yards further up the pitch because we, they know we haven't got a centre forward so there's, it's like I was saying this before on one of our shows it's like imagine you set off for a footy game you start to play and all you have to do is score you don't have to worry about defending. Yeah. That makes footy slightly easier, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so if that's what most play teams, and that's why they get threes, fours, and fives against us, because they don't have to worry about a score. The only time they've had to worry is when the ass is playing. The, well, this the is prince. The, but this is the problem. <laughs> but it did, I mean, again, this may be. I mean, look, well, I'll, I'll get to it. So EFC Carlos asked the question: Is Big Sam the man for Everton? You know, we've been kind of done a little bit of this over a few, mm. few for a few weeks. So this has been that drawn out. Everton have the worst defensive record in the Premier League at the moment. Twenty-eight goals, I think it is conceded. And everyone who's and anyone who's had that before has been relegated. Really? So it's only those better players, probably those attacking players, that are keeping us going at the moment. Because we. But this is the thing. I mean, Allardyce makes sense in that regard because mm. I don't think. I mean, okay, look, you've now got a left back issue, which is you know that it is it's, mm. it's an issue. I would still contend. Look, Ashley Williams has got his problems. No, he's, he's awful. Around, his problems he are too much he's food. fucking terrible. Yeah. They're his problems. <laughs> no, but you say that he no, is no, he's terrible. Yeah, but no, but he used to be an absolutely. But he did, and world. then he just got old and and, yeah, and and. No, and the point is, is that he's not, he's not shit. No, but he's no, but he's not ped. I'm sorry, but he can be in terrible form, but he still knows how to be a defender. All right, well, he's been in terrible the, form all season. Okay, fine. That, but that's that's fine. You could yeah. say that at the club in general, couldn't you? To be honest, but look, you look at got you've got the Keane, that's not Will Keane. What's his name? Michael Keane. Yeah. This every literally every single time. Yeah. The Keane, one of the, the Keane. Yeah. Um, the, the one that doesn't you know throw a party and leave World Cups, you know, and is a bit more of a safe set of hands. But all looks doesn't look like Milky from me, myself, and Irene. That's the only place for Watford. Okay, cool. Um, you've got <laughs> Jaggy Elkin as well, who again is miles past his best. Yes, but you could. <sighs> you no, no. You're making excuses for players that are not very good. They're not good I'm players. I'm not making excuses for them. You are. Like, no, 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 no. All of these are the solid are, Premier they're League. They're not. Players. They're not. They're, they're all. Are they, are they any worse than Swansea's back line? If you went player for player, but I, know, I don't know because I don't is, watch them. I mean, as far as saying they're, yeah. they're beneath, they're, I don't. I don't, I don't See, but, yeah, but the there's Lord. no good if Swansea get relegated as well. That doesn't do me <laughs> any. That doesn't do me any good, yeah, does it? The ones in and around it, I mean. But when you look at the likes of Stoke or even Watford, Stoke. You look at Watford yeah. starting eleven, and I say the Everton team on paper, minus the goal scorer, shits all over the Watford starting eleven, but they're not playing like a team that's got any. This sort is of the point I'm kind of driving at. Is I don't think the personnel in that back. Five when all fit mm. are relegation worthy, or at least I think if you if they just need a better plan and they, they need an organizer, organized. and that's yeah. why they pan, that's probably why they're going for Sam Allardyce, and that's the only thing that'll keep us up is that if we get that back line sorted. It's just is the thing. I mean, it, can he do anything between now and January? That's the problem. That's been the problem all season. We've had a, we've had two games a week all season. We haven't stopped. Cumin didn't have a plan. Unsworth's been thrown under the bus. 
from that point to point. And Asin doesn't have the smarts, and I don't think he has the respect either yeah. of anybody. Mm. To, do you know what I mean? Like when you're under 23 manager or coach, you've got those kids' futures in your hand. Yeah. When you go into the first team and you get someone like Morgan Snyder, who knows, no matter what happens, he'll get a good move out of it. Yeah. You don't, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. They don't care. And there's not enough people. At why Everton. is Kevin Morales still in Everton? Oh, why is he Kevin Morales way? still a thing? He's going to go the World Cup. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Who's that Jermaine Defoe style striker that's going to come in and get you 10 goals next year? Jermaine Defoe. Do you think Jermaine he's actually Defoe. Jermaine Defoe? No, no it's not. Nias? Nias is the man. Nias? No, but in, like in, so in, he comes to January yeah. and you need to buy, let's say, it, be, it might be more than three, but I'll say three yeah. is an arbitrary. Mm-hmm. Even just what? Just give me that one striker. Who's the striker? Who are you going to put a number nine shirt on and say, where's your, where's really your Kevin Campbell? Months, then, where's that guy going to be? Because that's I what you need, know. isn't it? You need Do you know what? Steve Walsh gets paid. A shit well, load of money. Recruit, where's that player in the in the summer as well? Exactly. Never mind panicking now. Where well, well, I think what is it? Sandro. Sandro. Yeah. yeah. I thought they thought Sandro was going to do that. Well, he's tw- he's but a twenty-one-year-old kid. Shit. Yeah. He's, he's a twenty-one-year-old. Well, I don't know what. It wouldn't surprise me if him and Klassen moved back to respective countries and did <laughs> really, really well <laughs> because that's that's the kind of situation we're in. That it was all just. Oh, we bought all these plays. Let's all play them. There was no thought behind it all. Well, you're playing Gilfie Sigurdsson left mid, Exa- and you're playing yeah, Kevin Morales up front. Exactly. There's no thought. Like yesterday, Gilfie Sigurdsson's chasing round at left back to cover Baines, and then pops up in the number ten spot and does that. You know, scores an absolute worldy. It's not. It's not rocket science. This has got all the hummus. Like there was an opportunity for runs with there, and this is this is where him not being fully qualified for it mm. is, is the issue. Is that you kind of go in and you, you you look at what your component pieces are and you piece together a system that works. Again, I could come back to it, and it's not like me to do this, but Roy Hodgson deserves credit for exactly. what he's doing at Palace. He's found an effective mm. way to play footy. Um, that will come undone but spectacularly. Do you know what at it's like? Point, do you know what it's like though? Do you know when you like play championship manager or or you do the starting eleven for you? And you end up, you moan about the problems and then you end up just picking the same team yeah. as the manager does because you just can't get that out your head, what it is. That's what Unsworth fell in the trap of. But then when he's tried to be radical, he's gone stupid. But he's kind of tried to do that. He's tried to put pace back in that team. He has. Which is why he's put Morales it's in, weird, why he's brought times. Lennon back. Calvert-Lewin probably would have played anyway, but he's, mm. been keep, he's, been, he's been keeping faith with him. But he's still stuck with that problem of he hasn't got the players round, round got the players. if you look at Palace I mean they're by no means doing much better as even results wise apart from the weekend but they've got somebody like a Zaha yeah. who you know can even if they're playing terribly can turn it on even Andros Townsend to a degree I know yeah. he gets a fair amount of stick but he's capable of being a match mm. match turning player where you still look at Everton's team and you go who's, who's going to do it unless it's a Sigurdsson you know long range strike when the ass is playing we look so much better but he's suspended the, the, what's going to need to happen is someone's going to have to come in and organise that back line and then and then we're going to need signings centre backs but then the positive is we've got Balassi Seamus Coleman and Ross Barkley yeah. all, all due back now it's how they come back Balassi has been out for over a year yeah. Seamus Coleman's been out since what February mm. uh, Ross Barkley doesn't really want to be at the club I can understand why so it's persuading him to stay to the end of the season, yeah. and then he'll probably go. Will be gone in January. Or? No, the club can't. Cut. You can't do that, can you? It doesn't you matter. Stocked in his position. No, then we haven't got no one like Ross Barkley. If you've got no money to buy no one, that might be an easy flip. That's the mad thing. We've got, millionaires. We've got <laughs> money. That's the mad thing. We actually have money, but it's go- you're just gonna have to say to Ross Barkley, you're gonna have to play to the end of the season, mm. and that's the end of it. And those players, Seamus Coleman for me is the biggest one because he's just. Everything to us. Mm. As soon as we lost him, that's when our um, decline started, just before the Mayside derby, um, which was magnificent as always. If we can get those three players back, get some shape, then we may just we may just survive. And if it's Allardyce and he keeps us up, then fine, because we have to readjust our thinking and go, you know what, it's all about getting that stadium. And if we get that stadium, then maybe we can start pretending we are Billy Bollocks. But until we get that stadium, then... At least if it is Allardyce, he'll be gone by the summer anyway. Well, that's it. I mean, this is the again. mad thing. They wanted him. And then he said, well, I want a long-term deal. Well, then you just say, well, yeah, yeah it's two years. 
well, we're going to fuck you off in this, you know, we're getting with you in the <laughs> summer. But he had his two years and he sits yeah. there, pints of wine, but happy as... Football chock, chock full of it. James Milner, want to play centre mid, mate? Yeah, yeah. no problem. Left back. <laughs> Get fucking left back, you dickhead. Exactly, like, yeah. you just lie, don't you? Football teams and managers lie all the time, let's be yeah. honest. Yeah. You just... Two years is a long-term deal. <laughs> if you <laughs> well, if you're Watford, it's a years. lifetime. <laughs> Moyes should still be under contract, shouldn't he? I think, I think we've still got three years left of him. <laughs> Well, that's, fu- that's football, and you paid them for two years. You give them one year, I think, and you just get on with it. Listen, if he saves, if he keeps Everton up this year, then and it doesn't matter how bad the football is. I'm what's, not asked what's because Gareth Farrelly doing these days. He is, no one will get that. He's reference. a lawyer. No one. He's a that. lawyer. Wow. He's a lawyer. Yeah. Well, maybe you'll need him to help sort the contract, out, and that's how he can help. Like the spirit of maybe. what was it? 97 98. Or 98. 98. Yeah. Great days. Um, let's. That when you stayed up on the last day. Yeah, it's when um, Coventry was at your place. It's when we drew one one with Coventry and Chelsea beat Bolton to keep us up. But there was all kinds of controversy because we played Bolton and the ball went that far over the line, and it wasn't given. It's mad, isn't it? Because you know, we need to wrap this up. But Everton have been it, it gets underestimated the stability Everton have had for the last twenty years. You know, there was a mm. Everton were a, a, within the Premier League. But a yo-yo club within the Premier League within for so Premier. many years, like in the in, in the nineties well, and stuff. Stability, just. You know, we're the longest team not to be relegated, I think. So, I think we're the least, we've spent the least amount of time out of the top division, I think, might be us at Arsenal. So, there is a massive amount of stability. So, that's what makes it even harder. We're just not used to it. Other teams are used to it and they'll be laughing at me now, which is fine. I'm eating humble pie, that's fine. Because <laughs> we're, sh- Newcastle cause we're sh- No, that's fine, it listen, that's it. fine. Yeah. And you know what? I have fair play because Newcastle think we've bounced back both times straight away. If we went down, I don't know if we'd ever come back. It'd be interesting to see us in the championship actually. No, no, here's the thing, just I don't want to get too sucked in this because we could because this could be we just didn't on. on this. Just do it. I do Maybe not want money. news to go down. What? I'm so saying this right. I'm six, saying this. Why? Right. Because there's six points gone for you. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> because no, 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 no. Because no. our collab no, videos no, are bollocks. No, 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 bollocks. Because no, they are. They are the highlights of the year. To be fair, um, all our best videos are with you guys. But the I lived in Sheffield for four years, and I think there was only one season mm. in that where the Arsenal and the Blades were in the same division, albeit the, you know the Championship at the time. And look, it that city is horrendous on a happy day. All the pubs have to shut at like nine o'clock at night, which is terrible, which I didn't get. But there's something gas to, lamps in the no, honestly. <laughs> but there's something to having it. Yeah. You've got to have that intercity rivalry, otherwise you you need those other fans to keep it in check. You know, to keep to, to keep you honest in some regard. No, no, no. Because no. think about that. Look, from your perspective, how insufferable you think we're insufferable now? If we had no other, no, no one to argue with, effectively, uh, you know, in, in the pubs and stuff like that, we, we, we'd. Oh, well, you have to start you a fan be, channel or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But no, I, I don't think I, I like. I always thought it'd be funny, but you can't. You, I, I wouldn't like to live in a in a, in, a, in a city that didn't have us. Com- relatively competitive rivals, like you, know. you just feel like you'd be patting us on the head all the time, then wouldn't you? <laughs> rather than being able I'm to... saying not, mate. I don't care that that'll be coming up. And if you've got Sam Allardyce in charge, I'm not. I'm keeping my mouth shut till then. Anyway, let us know your thoughts on Everton's situation and whether Sam Allardyce would be a, a, a good or a, you know, if nothing else, a solid appointment. And your thoughts on how Everton have managed the situation? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Ball Street. Subscribe to Toffee TV. Oh, subscribe it's, to it's a joyful place Mr. at the moment. Mr. Stephen House and subscribe to 442s. We don't need the subs because let's face it, doesn't even need to be here. Doesn't even need to leave the house. Doesn't need to get out of his pajamas to Steve most days. But you know I, what? I've he told has you before, done it. work naked. So it's- <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for putting clothes on and coming down. But yeah, subscribe Anytime. to all the channels and uh, my channel too if you want. And we'll see you on the next video, which is whether Arsenal's crisis is finally over. <laughs>